This is Dr. Caroline Peterson with Natural Women's Health Institute. I'm talking today about the class, Where Are My Keys? Preventing and Reversing Cognitive Decline. I'm really interested in this class because there's a history of senile dementia in my family. On my mom's side of the family, her mom um, was one of 10 kids. Two of them died in infancy, and all of the rest, save one, died of senile dementia in their 90s. In my mom's generation, there were 12 kids, uh, 13 if you count the baby who died in utero of Spanish flu, um, but of those 12, two of them died in World War II, one of them died of diabetes type 1, Four of them died of senile dementia in their 90s. One of them is alive in his 80s with senile dementia, in the late 80s. And four are alive in their 80s and 90s without senile dementia. And so for me, cognitive decline and everything that comes with that is like a, a lived experience that I've seen in my, and experienced in my whole, own family. And, um, definitely feel that there's a familial predisposition to that. Uh, I've also seen signs in myself at different times of cognitive decline. Um, when I was taking my functional neurology training, my teacher, Dr. Karazian said, you guys, you need to be looking at yourselves. It's not just other people who get cognitive decline. You can get it too. And so, you know, in taking the tests and doing the assessments that he was providing, I was like, oh man, this is not super awesome. And then I was working so hard, many hours, very disrupted sleep, if at all. And I was basically being fueled by coffee and refined carbohydrates. And one day in the Trader Joe's parking lot, I was like, what is that thing? I know that thing. And I could not think of the word and it was a car door. And I was like, oh, sister, this is not heading a good place. And then I noticed several times when I was trying to put in the code um, to open the door on the house, I would forget the code. And then I'd be like, oh, man, what was that? And kind of like stumble around, forget it eventually. But I was like, this is not right. I should know that. Where is that going? And then one time I was taking an online functional neurology class and you're supposed to do a test at the end of it. So I did the test and usually you know, it takes me like 15 minutes. This test, I could not get my brain to function. I could not remember anything. I could not feel it firing at all. It felt like cotton wool was in it. And I was like, oh man, something is really wrong. And it took me two hours to finish that test. And I passed and everything, but that was not right. Then I was trying to walk outside and I noticed I did feel some better, but my brain, my head just felt so full and wrong. I couldn't really think. So I went over to my nephew's birthday party and my brother, who's a chiropractic internist, was there and he was like, girl, you gotta get you some lab and get that blood sugar tested. Of course, I had central obesity and my adrenals were fried and I came back as pre-diabetic metabolic syndrome and spent several years getting that under control, reclaiming my life and reclaiming my nervous system. And it's not something that's like one and done because you know, by midlife, your body has forgiven a lot. <laughs> my body has forgiven a lot. and. Sometimes there's no more forgiveness left. And so then you have to move forward, you know, carefully caring for yourself um, as far as food intake is concerned, nutrition, exercise, sleep, you know, relaxation, all that kind of stuff, which actually like makes for a happier, <laughs> better life if you live like that. And so what I want to offer you is a way out. I want to offer you hope and I want to offer you a, a, a method to help figure out what's going on with you, your cognitive health, how to intervene, and, and how to become capacitated so you know how to interpret things on your own. 
we're going to do this together. It's going to be a rewarding experience and everything can change. This is not the end. This is the beginning of the next phase of your life.